Hey, my name is Madison. I'm here with Black Hat Vapor to tell you guys about a new clear miser that's coming to the market. This is the AnyVape Pika Miser. Now this is another uh, adjustable airflow tank, much like your Kanger Pro Tank 3 or your Aero Tank, but it's got a lot of new features that those don't. I'm really excited about it. We've been testing it for a long time. I love it. Um, what I'm going to do is give you guys a quick review, show you some pros, a couple cons. I'm going to show you how to fill it up, how to use it, everything like that. So let's take a look. So this is the box that your Pika Miser is going to come in. It'll come with an extra coil. On the box, this says that it's an Aspire BDC coil. I don't know if Aspire actually makes that coil or if it's just one that any vape has made, like a little coil clone. But we uh, tested them out. They work just as, just as well as the Aspires. This is a little beauty ring will come with it. It comes with an extra shell. It comes with a green one. Now, you can get different colored ones. These are the exact same shells that any vape made for... Uh, the AnyVape Divide. So if you have any of those shells laying around or you find them online, those will work. They'll probably come out with, start selling them as Pekamizer shells as well. Now, the first thing I noticed about this tank was the drip tip. It comes with a really nice drip tip. That drip tip well is very good. It's not loose. You know, if you put any drip tip in there, it won't be loose. I've got another one sitting around and that fits in there just well. Every, every drip tip I put in there fits really well. None of it's very loose. Okay, and then we've got the airflow control. There's three different settings going from the tightest draw to the areas draw. And the, the thing I really like about this is how tight that ring is. It's really clicky, it's nice, it feels nice to use. Um, a lot of these adjustable airflow tanks, at least in the beginning, had, had loose ones that you could accidentally knock out of place with your hand or while you were using it, things like that. And if you look in there, you can see how this airflow control works. There's um, two two holes opposing each other for each setting basically and you can go from the lowest to the highest now let's look at all these different coils that this thing can use so when you take this off you'll notice that this kind of like springs out of place and that's basically where the technology is that allows you to use any coil in here there's just a little spring where this tube connects to your coil and that's that's all it is I mean it's very simple but that's what makes this such a great tank so it comes with this little Aspire coil, and I'll just go ahead and show you guys all the other ones it can use. So I've got here, let's see, got here a regular Pro Tank coil, one of the older styles. This will screw in there because of that spring. And this actually goes inside the tube there. So, you know, these Davide coils will just press on it and fit that silicone ring inside there, but these go inside the tube, then use the spring, then it'll screw right on. And I'm just going to show you that all these fit, but we have actually used all of them and tested them out, and they all work great. The only one that doesn't work in here is the Aspire Nautilus coil. This is your Kanger V2 dual, dual coil. So these are the newest Kangers that are out in the market. This is what everybody has these days. So that'll fit right in there. So, come on. Sometimes pushing that in can be a little tough. That screws right in, you're good to go. What else do we have? And then the Kanger V1 coils. And Kanger, you know, made all these old coils and the new ones. Um, if you have old coils laying around from another company, they'll probably fit as well. As long as this pole is um, small enough in diameter to fit in that hole, this should take the coil. And there's a lot of companies that make clones of all the Kanger coils, and I've heard of this thing using a lot of those as well. So that fits in there just fine. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys how to fill this thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and use that Kanger V2 dual coil to fill. So I'll screw that in there. That goes right in like that. Now you can fill um, bottom from the bottom like you would a regular clear miser, any, you know, any regular um, bottom filling. There's little holes in there that you can put it in. Most people are going to want to fill from the top because that's one of the good features about this. There's been some companies that made some of these clear misers that tried to have top filling, but it never seemed to work out until now. To do that, you'll unscrew this piece. And there's your little fill holes right there. Now one thing you have to make sure to do before you fill this is to set your airflow to F 
for fill because if you don't it will definitely leak it's because you've got that vacuum seal in there going and if you've got extra airflow coming out it will leak so just stick that in there and another nice thing is unlike some of those bottom fillers you can't quite fill them all the way up if you fill this one from the top you can get this thing completely full yep, and there you go Yeah, and I haven't experienced any leaking problems. There's been a couple times where I forgot to put it to the F and I had a little bit of leaking, but it wasn't that bad. It didn't dump on me or anything like that. And that is pretty much it for uh, the Anyvape Picomizer. Um, when you do go to change a coil, I've, you know, I've read that you need to put this to F. That doesn't really make much sense to me. Maybe the airflow will get weird when you, um, go to screw it back on. I put it to F whenever I change a coil, but it's really easy to do. I haven't had any leaking so far. And then I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what it vapes like. All right, you guys, so that was the breakdown. What I'm going to do now is just give it a vape. I'm going to put it on this DNA 30. I'm going to turn it up to uh, probably 12 watts. You can usually turn these things a little bit higher depending on the coil you have in there. Obviously, you know, each of these coils vapes differently. So it's all going to be your preference really. Which is one of the great things about this tank is that you you know you can have a preference. You can use any coil you'd like, any manufacturer. You're going to be able to go to almost any vape shop. They're going to have something that does fit in this in this clear miser. Um, so I've got it at 12 watts right now. I have one of those Pro Tank Three Version Twos in there. I'm going to turn the airflow down just to see what it's like. I generally like you know more airflow, but I'm going to put it at two. Yeah. So even if at that uh, smaller airflow, that is. That's some good vapor. I mean, this thing really pushes. Um, let's put it at four, which is the highest setting. And you know, most people are getting these because they want more airflow. They know that more airflow can give you more vapor. Um, set at four, you can do a direct lung inhale with this. I'd like to see it a little bit, you know, a little bit more airflow out of this thing. I guess you can drill them out. You know, you could probably do it yourself, take it to a vape shop, something like that. But let's see what it's like on four. So yeah, that's definitely noticeably more vapor. I mean, this thing, this thing does the job. If you're looking for a tank, if you've been looking at the Caro, uh, the Kanger Aero tank stuff like that, I'd say just go with this one. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be more expensive. It, it you know it depends. We'll see when they come out. Um, this one, this one is hard to beat. You know, you've got all those different coils you can use. It's just the way to go. And that's pretty much the review. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Madison with Black Hat Vapor.